welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to clarify a bit few terms that have been a bit confusing for you. So let's get started. Okay, so as you guys know, I'm studying, well technically done, studying neuropsychology. But my background is neuroscience. So I know there can be a bit of confusion between these two terms, neuroscience, neuropsychology, what's what, what's the difference. So I want to clarify a bit this situation because I know even for myself was confusing at some point so let's start with the definitions neuroscience what it does is studies the nervous system so that implies knowing the neurotransmitters that work in the brain the pathways knowing more of the content of the brain in a biological chemistry way so it's a lot of information is centered towards knowing how everything is working in those little details but if you go to the other side, to neuropsychology, it's not necessarily about those details, but more about the outcome of these details. So, behavior and cognition. Cognition being attention, memory, different tasks that require some kind of effort from the person. So, what is the difference? Where is the line in between these two fields? Is there a line actually there? And my answer is, the line is really blurry. There are things that when you are focusing in research, the lines are even more blurry because of course in clinical neuropsychology, you are basically with the patient, you are tracking how they're doing, it's more a doctor-like job. But if you go into the research field, a neuroscientist and a neuropsychologist are doing a really similar job because they are studying the brain of this person and then it could also be an outcome for both ways to study the behavior, the reaction of the participant or the patient. So it's hard to draw the line in between these two, but I think what is important to take from this is that if you want to pursue a career with something in relation with the brain and you don't know where you should start, just start wherever you think is best for you. You can start studying biology and then get your way into neuroscience and you can study psychology and then specialize into neuropsychology. In my case I didn't follow any of those two paths and I follow one that it was basically starting studying neuroscience and then I jump into neuropsychology. What this basically says that in science and this this whole neuro field there are always ways around to get your interest met in what you think it's gonna work for you. So it's true, there are two different fields, but at the same time, they are the same field. So it's nice to keep this in mind that even if they seem to have different jobs at some point, it can be really hard to tell who is doing what and what exactly is your position. If you have any suggestions about something in neuropsychology that you would like to know more, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to make a video about it. Okay guys, that was the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!